Hello, welcome to Get Your Mind On. I'm Lori Stos. In the zone. When you think about those words, in the zone, someone says, I'm in the zone. You usually hear that coming from athletes, maybe musicians, or some of those very talented people who say, gosh, I really know it when I'm in the zone. What does that feel like? What does in the zone mean? In the zone means you're mentally prepared. You're, you're in the, it feels just so good. Mind, body, soul, connectivity. You're so focused and you know nothing else is going on around you. You lose track of time. It's easy, it's effortless. Wow, what a great space to live in. How many of you live in that in the zone space? Well, sometimes you think of the in the zone. I really look at that as flow. Flow is kind of easy and effortless, and it, there's not a lot of pressure, and there's not a lot of, um, you know, uh, like you're trying really hard, but when you're in it, it just feels so good. But many of us don't think about maybe what our zone is. So I want us to think outside the world of maybe athletes and musicians and those people who we figure are, quote, talented, and look at ourselves as normal human beings and say, what is your zone? When you're in your day-to-day -day activity, or it might not be daily, if you're lucky and you're going to live in it daily, if not, it might be weekly or monthly, and all of a sudden you're doing something and you just lose track of time and it's easy and everything else is going on and you're just there. It could be for some of you that you see a pattern. You're talking about something in a meeting and all of a sudden the idea comes to you and you see the idea, you see the solution and you see exactly the steps that need to happen and it's bright and colorful and you just get so excited. Your body feels and you can't wait to speak. Some of you, that's the zone. For some of you, might you might walk into a room and, and uh, there might be people there and you're able to really just pick up on emotions very quickly and you're able to really understand what goes on and you're able to kind of bring calm to the room with some feelings and emotions by asking the right questions. Maybe that's your zone. For some of you, it could be chaos, huge chaos in a large event or something that's going on and things aren't going right and all of a sudden you step in and just easily move things around and and everything flows efficiently and effortlessly. That's the flow. You know, and for some of us, it could be just the words come to you at the moment. I was, uh, you know, my flow and my zone is uh, when I'm speaking, sometimes it really comes to me very easy. And I was, uh, it was last year and I had a big event of, oh, 500 people or so. And I hadn't done that large of an audience for a little while. And I thought, Ugh, okay, you know, I was maybe getting a little bit uh, nervous and walking up there. When I got into that zone, it didn't take me but a couple minutes and I was there. I didn't even feel the time pass away. The time passed away so quickly. I was in my zone. Words came to me that never would have expected to come to me at that time. I hadn't even had them in my um, my my talk. I'm really not a scripted person, but they just came to me. The audience was having a great time, and we were in the zone. And I just felt so good, and I got great feedback. Had most people uh, email me or text me afterwards. But what did I do different? Nothing. I was just in my zone. And when those zones come to us, again, they feel emotionally, you feel connected and you're, you're the best that you can be. So how do you find that zone? So those may relate it to you, some of them may not. You may have to want to think about what is that zone for you. So first you have to think about something that you're good at, something you enjoy. Then you have to really think about what is the difference between maybe that skill level and that challenge level, okay? If you um, have a skill and talent level but you're, you're not putting yourself up to the challenge, we're gonna have a little bit of gap. Or sometimes maybe you're the one that challenges yourself too high and you really don't have that, uh, that skill or talent um, developed yet to get there. So you feel like you fail all the time. So you really first have to kind of take a look at that and say, what is that? Where have you succeeded today and how could you maybe succeed to the next level. That would be one. Two would next be a, maybe a goal. A goal that you'd want to accomplish, maybe a challenge goal that you would set for yourself that you know you can focus on. So little by little you ease into it. Some of us just jump right off the cliff and it happens and we're like, wow, we didn't think we could do that. Some of us aren't quite so much about that. So uh, maybe easing into whatever that challenge goal may be for you. Third is feedback. You know, sometimes if you notice when you do something very well and jump in, you're getting feedback automatically from people without even asking for it. And they say, gosh, did you see what you did there? Or, you were really good there. Um, so I think feedback is really, really important for us to think about um, as well. And four is just really stand, spending the time thinking about um, growing that zone and extending it and really just um, stepping back and asking yourself, how did it feel when I was there? 
So when we think about our zone, our vo- zone is just really critical to be in, but some of us don't find that zone. Some of you may say, gosh, I have no idea. What I'm going to do is challenge you to find that zone, challenge you to find that little piece of you. Now, hopefully you're getting to do it in your job, but some of you may not be, and that's okay. Uh, but that makes you know that you're probably a little bit disengaged every day by just going through some of the emotions, uh, some of the emotions in your day and not thinking about how you can stretch to get better. Because when we're in that zone, it feels really, really Really good. For positive charge this week, first, what's your definition of in the zone? Second, what is in the zone for you? Do you have a zone? And third is how can you grow and expand that zone? When we think about being in the zone, there's a connection. There's an emotional connection. Your mind, body, soul is connected. It's easy. It's effortless. And you're just in that moment. It's a great, great feeling. Hopefully you'll have the opportunity to learn your zone and increase it to greater capability. Thanks for joining us today and remember to get your mind on it.